All right, so good afternoon, everybody. Um, welcome back. It's been a little while since I did a lawn video, and I, so I kind of want to just explain why. A lot of you guys that follow me for a while know that uh, I just recently changed positions in the company that I work for to give me more time with you, basically. Uh, more time for me to do my yards during the week instead of on the weekends, just to give me more free time um, and to, you know, so I can do some yards during the week after work uh, and do some editing during the week after yards and try to help free up my free time. For the last couple of weeks, that's what I've been doing. Uh, I've been working uh, with the residential garbage route. Um, I clock in a little bit later and I clock out a lot earlier, a lot earlier. And, uh, you know, it's on me. It's day pay. So we negotiated salary, I should say. Um, of course, not going to talk about that. But um, it's up to me. As fast as I can get the route finished with the team that I have, um, I clock out. So it could take you eight hours. It could take you five hours. So um, it's been working good. Let me just say it was a very well needed change that really uh, I needed to do bad. Uh, but I needed now to learn how to adjust what I'm going to do with you guys. Okay, so work is taken care of, and now I have the time to be with you guys. So I kind of had to like, I took the last cycle, the last mowing cycle two weeks ago, and I was like, okay, everybody was being done on a Saturday and Sunday. So I kind of had to contact my customers and say, hey, look, um, I adjusted my work schedule, so instead of doing your yard on the weekend, I'm going to be doing your yard for the weekend. I needed to make sure that they were okay with that because when you have somebody on a 14-day rotation and every Saturday they expect their lawn cut, and then you show up on, let's say, a Wednesday, two or three days earlier, they're going to be like, um, hey, um, you trying to get an extra cut out of me this month? If you go two or three days longer and you go to the next week, then if I have a rainy week, then those lawns might fall on my kids' weekend. So I needed to keep them to where they fall on the weekend I don't have my kids. And that is, so that was the problem. That was why I moved them um, to the left on the calendar. I, I don't know if that, if, on the camera, is that my left? I moved them to the left on the calendar a few days. So. We could do a couple yards on Wednesday, a couple yards on Thursday, a couple yards on Tuesday. I did a yard yesterday, a new client I picked up, not ready to put them on video yet, but picked up a new client yesterday. Got a phone call for another new client, wants me to go check out from those business cards I passed out about six weeks ago or so. Um, not sure if I'm going to take them on, but he sounds like a PETA customer. You remember PETA, pain in the ass, the name of my dog, PETA? Um, kind of like a PETA customer. Uh, so I kind of just, I, I needed to see what was going to happen with work. How was it going to work out with you guys, with my schedule? And I think we got it. I think we got it down. All my customers were happy that the yard was cut during the week instead of on the weekend. Uh, so we got them all done. And I followed suit with what I said I was going to do uh, that weekend, only I did it a few days earlier. So the very, very first week that we came back to mowing for the 2019 season, it was clean out. Everybody got cleaned up. Um, and there was some, some pretty messy yards to, to contend with really tall overgrown weeds of crap, you know, just tall crap that we had to knock down in some of the yards. Um, so we got that squared away. The second week I told you guys, we were going to put down the weed and feed. So we did put down the weed and feed. Um, and you'll see the results of some of that here shortly. Um, the third week we did the bushes where in the front yard of my yard, this yard and all my customers. We did a comparison. We did two videos. We did three videos, actually. One was about the, the hedge trimmers, the extension, and then the, uh, the regular. Um, and then we did a video where we used the extension, and then we did a, re a video where we did the regular. So I did that. And then I said the next cycle was going to be weed spraying. And I did a video at the very beginning of this season. We talked about all the chemicals I'm going to use. I'm going to link to that video up here. All the chemicals that I'm going to use, and I used the spectricide weed spray, uh, which is non-select, which means it kills anything green that it touches. And I used that um, last cycle. So here it's been now two weeks. And so I want to show you guys the results of those, of that spray. And this is a great yard to do it to because this yard usually is loaded with weeds. Um, so we did use it on this yard and my yard. Um, so I want to show you that, and that's the spectricide, um, non-select herbicide. Mix about seven ounces to a gallon of water, 
and go to town spraying. Be very careful on windy days. You only spray what you want to kill because it'll kill everything. So I want to show you guys that today. And then we're just going to move into a nice little video today, um, trimming the bushes. So we're going to get these trimmed down. Uh, she's coming back from vacation. Well, not vacation, but she's coming back from out of town. She goes out of town with her boyfriend and stuff. Um, so she'll be coming back tomorrow. So her front bushes were all done up. I didn't do her back bushes yet. So we're going to do a nice little bush trimming here. Get, get them trimmed down some. Um, that's my backyard behind it, so it's starting to look a little eh to me as well. So we're going to shape these up some with the extension hedge trimmers. We're going to get the yard edged, weed eated. Um, we're going to get things all nice and done. We got, we did put down the the, the um, bonus ass weed and feed back here. We still got some dollar weeds that are growing. Um, there are still some weeds in the grass here, but they're about to just burn out. We got some really nice St. Augustine going on here. We'll get those bushes all cleaned up as well, uh, nice and trimmed up. And then uh, let me show you guys this, the bed here with the rose bushes. Really pretty. All the weeds that are normally in here are all gone. I sprayed them two weeks ago and they are gone. They look, these bushes are really looking nice. We're not touching these bushes. We're just gonna let them grow. We'll just set up the camera. I'll just let you guys watch me clean up this yard. Maybe we'll throw some light music on in the background and uh, just get this done. This is be the first lawn video back with my new position at work, and this works out really nice. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. I worked a full day at work, a full day's pay, and here I am with you guys now ready to do a couple yards. Uh, so really cool how that works out. Don't forget dansvlog.com, www.dansvlog.com. For any advice, tips, or anything that you get from me and you feel like you thank me and you want to thank me and you're like, man, I can't thank you enough, there's a way you could thank me. You can go to dansvlog.com, send a couple bucks to the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Help us get our goal of $10,000 this year by November. Please help us. Don't, don't delay. They need the money now. Everything you donate today, they use as soon as it's cleared. The funds are cleared. So you donate a dollar today, they get that dollar minus administrative fees. And they get that to the kids, get that to the families now, not in November. So if you're waiting, because it's you think they're not gonna no 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 you send a dollar now it reflects now and they get that money now so please anything you can do uh, will be greatly appreciated and let's go ahead and get started if you look here a couple weeks ago there was a lot of green weeds in here and now they're either crispy dead or just disintegrated one little green right there halfway I guess I might not have sprayed that one too well it's like half good half not uh, but all this was loaded up. This walkway, all in between these pavers, was all loaded up with weeds. And so you see, that stuff does a really, this, this was more green than rock. And now it's, it's nice. So it really does make a difference. All right, so what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and trim up these bushes now. Rake them up. Get them in the barrel. Get them on the other side of the fence. And when I mow my yard later on today, I'll go back there with my riding mower and just chop all that crap up. But hang out.
cut this straight. Smell these. They, they smell so good. Here you see there's um crap, I can't remember what they're called now. Silver dollar weeds. Dollar weeds. These dollar weeds are popping up because I always come through with the weed eater and I grind the weeds down and then when I spray, if there's nothing green, it then it then the spray doesn't kill. So you knock them down and then the stumps come up. So you got two options. Spray them and let them die. Or knowing that she's coming home tomorrow and it, it would be ugly grind them down today and it'll look nice and it'll stay nice for by the time she goes away again um, so I'll grind them down when I weed eat so we'll go ahead and weed eat an edge now we'll just edge with the weed eater you guys like that once in a while
if you really want to make that look nice, you should go through with a hard rake and you turn that white dirt black. You scrape, scrape it up. Makes a big difference. blow everything in real quick because I'm going to come with the Honda uh, Pushmo and vacuum with the bagger. So I'm going to blow everything in make it real nice so when we do the final mow it'll be nice and clean. So we got it looking pretty good now. All we got to do now is mow and bag.
When I do my yard, I'm going to come and hit the edge right along the fence. So it's hard for me to reach. Um, <clears throat> it's a little bit outside my reach. Let's take a look. That looks really nice. And now you got it nice clean dirt. She comes home tomorrow. Everything looks really good. Pretty roses. Pretty backyard. Really a pretty backyard. Tell me about the whistles. The whistles. The whistles. The whistles. The whistles.